Hello, we will create a wind actor here and all you have to do to make a wind actor is create a blueprint an actor blueprint name it somehow uh, it's a tutorial tumbleweed so open it and uh, wind actors need actually three things they need a static mesh static mesh component then they need an audio component and also most important they need the wind system component which is part of this marketplace item so we compile this and um, first of all we want to set a static mesh here I take the tumbleweed which is already in the um, marketplace item and I place this one like this so that it rolls uh, when so when you place it it will actually be placed on, on the ground and not in the middle of the ground so now we have uh, this tumbleweed set as a static mesh now we have to turn on simulate physics this is pretty crucial since we want this static mesh to be moved by a force which is uh, set in the wind zone so now um, we have the static mesh set that's all okay this doesn't need simulate simulation generates hits events because this tumbleweed will produce a continuous sound so every time it moves it will play a sound uh, like a sound loop however when you have an object that doesn't roll or doesn't have a continuous movement like perhaps something that only falls over by the wind like the tin cans or so which are also part of this marketplace item then you have to turn on simulation generate hit events because then the sound is triggered by actual hit events when the item falls over to the ground okay but this is all in the audio component uh, you don't have to set anything the audio source will be set in the uh, BP underbar wind component which I now explain when you click on it you see the details on the right side and you see uh, two sections like the internal section you don't have to bother about this since these are all, all values that are placed from within the blueprint uh, from within the wind component itself so we don't have to set these the only relevant items uh, or settings we need to set are here in the relevant rollout like the estimated surface area so the estimated surface area is the area where the wind is projected to the where the wind force is projected to so actually this is a multiplier for the wind force that is applied to the object the higher the um, surface area the more wind force is applied to the object so for this one we leave it by one square meter now we set the sound cue sound cue will be grass dry loop one cue so now the sound is also set and now we can also set an angular damping or linear damping these two values um, will be projected to every static mesh that is placed in here so your wind actor actually can make use of many static meshes but only the static mesh that is set within the construction script to initialize the wind component is used for actual wind calculations so another important thing you have to remember is that the the audio component needs to be a child of the static mesh otherwise the sound will be played yes but the audio will stay in place whilst the tumbleweed is blown away by the force by the wind force um, 
and you can only hear the sound where the object was placed uh, initially. So we need to have this as a child of the static mesh and then it will move with the static mesh actually. Okay, now that we have all the components in place, we need to do one thing in the construction script to make this work. So we right click inside the window of the construction script and type in wind and then we find the initialize wind component. There. Click on this. It already has in this case the BP wind component attached. Otherwise um, you would need to get a reference of this wind component and stick it in here. So connect the execute. Now we need the audio component. This one needs to be placed here. And then we need the static mesh that should actually be the mesh where the wind is projected to. So when you have more than one static mesh, choose the static mesh that is most important for the wind calculation. Like I have other examples in this wind um, package like the sign that swings in the wind. Wait a second, I can show this. wind actors and here's the sign so there are actually a couple of static meshes in here but what I want to be the most important thing static mesh on this object is of course the sign itself so the wind will be projected onto this but not on the on the other smaller meshes However, they are constrained to this object and when this object moves, they will move along with it. Okay, back to our tutorial tumbleweed. So this is all set now. Everything is fine. You can quickly arrange this. Alignment line left. So now it's nice, tidy. Now this one is an old one. I place our tutorial tumbleweed into the scene and let's see how it performs. There it is. And you can hear that the sound actually will attenuate since the audio component moves with the object. So in the next tutorial I will show how to set up a sound cue for this wind actor.